It has been 12 days since the United Auto Workers walked out, striking against the big three U.S. automakers. Now President Biden plans to join them on the picket lines, and Cleo Green is here in studio with us. So, Cleo, there doesn't seem to be an end in sight. Yeah, Kara, Mark, and here's a look at locations where those strikes are happening across the country. Two of them here in North Texas, about 17 in Michigan and Ohio, 17 locations. Now, overnight, the uh, UAW tweeted pretty soon it's going to be two classes the rich and the poor, we had to draw the line in the sand somewhere. Here's what you need to know this morning. This means members of the union are not backing down, demanding a 40% increase in wages and stronger benefits. Check this out here. The most recent SEC filings show all of the big three CEOs earned more than $20 million last year, with GM CEO topping the list at $29 million. According to the Wall Street Journal, they earn around 300 times what the average employee earns. That's part of the reason why President Joe Biden plans to join the picket line today in Michigan. Some say it's a massive display of solidarity with union members by a sitting president. You take a look at the significant increase in salaries for the executives and growth of the industry, they should benefit from it. Nobody wants to be out here. We want to be in there working. We want to be, you know, getting parts to our customers and to the dealers. Um, but it comes to a point where you had to draw a line in the sand. All right, now, former President Donald Trump also plans to speak to auto workers tomorrow. President Biden going today to join the picket line. I do want to mention here, here at home, there is a UAW caravan that's happening in Carrollton uh, this evening around 8 p.m. That's when they're going to roll out, and they are joining in solidarity uh, with the Parts Center in Carrollton. All right, Kara, I'll send it back to you. Yeah, thanks for the update, Cleo. Mm -hmm.